The head of the Environmental Protection Agency confirmed it today. He is ending President Obama's clean power plan that limited carbon emissions from coal-fired power plants. Scott Pruitt announced that he will sign a new order tomorrow, and he declared the war on coal is over. More than a dozen wildfires swept across northern California's wine country today. Officials estimated 1,500 homes and other buildings were destroyed, and 20,000 people forced to evacuate. One person died in a fire farther north. Most of the fires started overnight, and daylight illuminated the burned ruins of homes across the Napa and Sonoma Valleys. Some people said they had had to run for their lives. I drew my blinds and I just saw flames all up on the hill behind my house. So of course I panicked, I'm still shaking. Um, went out and they were screaming fire, 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 get out, get out. We took about an hour to uh, gather what we thought was important. And as we were leaving, the uh, flames were kissing the tops of the hillside in back of us. And we got the news a couple hours later that um, it was, it was burning. California's Governor Jerry Brown today declared emergencies in Napa, Sonoma, and Yuba counties. Heavy rain and gusty wind followed the remains of Hurricane Nate across the East Coast today. The storm quickly weakened after making landfall in Louisiana and Mississippi over the weekend. It still triggered flooding and widespread power outages, but much of the power was quickly restored. Meanwhile, tropical storm Ophelia formed today far out in the Atlantic. The governor of Puerto Rico, Ricardo Rosseo, says that he is ordering an investigation into distribution of supplies since Hurricane Maria. Rosseo says that food and water is being sent to hard-hit towns, but that people aren't receiving the supplies. He told CNN there will be, quote, hell to pay for those who mismanage the aid. Two more deaths are now linked to a nursing home that lost air conditioning during Hurricane Irma. Police in Hollywood, Florida, say that a pair of women, one 90 years old, the other 95, have died. They had been found in the overheated facility days after the storm. A criminal investigation is proceeding. A new surge of Rohingya refugees crossed into Bangladesh today. They said they had been set upon by Buddhist mobs and government soldiers in Myanmar. Drone footage showed the sprawling camps in Bangladesh, where more than a half a million people have fled. One boat of refugees capsized last night, killing at least 12. There were seven of us, my three kids, wife, my father-in-law, my old mother, and me. Among them, I survived alone. We all faced so much difficulty for food and survival. They killed people and burnt down the village's houses. We came here to save our lives. Myanmar's government has rejected the charges of ethnic cleansing. They claim that a group of Rohingya militants is causing the violence. Google says that it is investigating after reports that Russian operatives placed thousands of dollars in advertisements during the 2016 election. The Washington Post says that the disinformation campaign exploited YouTube, Google Search, Gmail, and other Google products. Facebook and Twitter have also reported Russian meddling, and now Microsoft says that it is checking Russian ads on its platforms. On Wall Street today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 12 points to close at 22,761. The Nasdaq fell 10, and the S&P 500 slipped 4. And Hall of Fame pro quarterback Y.A. Tittle passed away last night near his home in Northern California. Tittle played 17 seasons and was most valuable player with the New York Giants in 1963. The next year, an iconic photo captured him kneeling in pain, blood dripping from his head in his final season. Y.A. Tittle was 90 years old.